Magic berry choo choo. Okay. We have a platform messaging. Hi kids. I'm ready for president. And we want 24 7 safe house. Is it silly? At least at the elementary schools, if not in houses so that parents can get a break. We have folks who are minimum wage workers who are spending 30% of their income on childcare. And if we just like get that organized and develop a program for 24 seven safe house for kids, we can have um, vetted, um, Folks, and we've got the folks, you know, we've got them in uh, Girl Scouts and um, uh, Boys and Girls Club, and there's all sorts of organizations in all of our different neighborhoods, all of the states. So we just need to empower them, uh, fund it, um, take that pressure off of families so that we can really facilitate innovation. I mean, the whole pods framework is about not giving lip service to innovation, but actually designing systems that support it. So you've got these folks that are coming, young kids coming out of school, saddling them with student loan debt. And then, you know, heaven forbid, we get young ones involved and we don't, we don't help <sighs> with, with the kids stuff. And it's just so inexpensive to the opportunity cost. Just a safe place for kids within walking distance of any elementary school kid that there would be a place, you know, so if, you know, uh, mama, sorry, <laughs> baby mama wants to go out to the club with her girlfriends, it's, it's okay, you know, just drop the kiddo off and now they're going to be safe. Um, so yeah, Pitts Residential. Um, for kids, you know, with issues that, you know, young folks are dealing with, that of a consequence, as a consequence, we all are, you know, um, and, you know, obviously I'm, a, um, <laughs> just, I'm entering midlife, so these are the costumes I paid for, it cost a fortune, so I'm getting my money's worth out of them, um, but trying to like, you know, think through what would have been helpful to me when I was that age, have that knowledge transfer as we move from age group to age group. So I would really, really love to take care of folks that are in that reproductive age category so that they can afford to get their masters, you know, raise their families, you know, because those are our future customers. Those are our future everything. I and mean, it's not just like, oh, kids are our future. It's just population. <laughs> they will grow up, they will become adults, and we want them to be productive adults. We want them to be contributing adults. We want them to be innovating adults. We want them to be customers. So let's stop talking about, you know, it like it's a pie in the sky thing and just get the darn thing funded. So 24 7 Safe House, Pinups Presidential for Kids. Um, I think, you know, Sanctuary, talking about reproduction all that kind of stuff is probably an easy thing to do um and what's the other messaging point we want to cover um genetic rights so you know when we talk about where babies come from that may be a good place to introduce conversations about um how we're made um the science we can sort of introduce those ideas about genetic stuff, how, how we're made, 
um, and then just really introduce the idea from the sage that you matter, your makeup matters, digital ID matters, digital citizenship matters. So anyway, from your most insane presidential candidate ever. Check this out. <laughs> We're ready. Come in on our horse. Thank you.